As part of the school-based assessment for assignment two, students are given the option of deboning three parts of the chicken, either the leg, the thigh, or the breast. For this video, we will be focusing on deboning the chicken leg. You need to ensure that you have the correct tools. So the items needed will include one sharp boning knife and a sturdy cutting board. To keep the cutting board in place, a wet kitchen towel can be placed just beneath the board. As with any other practical assignment, one of the first tasks or steps is to wash your hands thoroughly. Now before you begin to debone your chicken, you want to ensure that it is completely thawed. And then you also want to check to ensure that it has a pinkish color, that there is no bruising, it has no tears in the skin, and your chicken should also be plump. So to debone the chicken leg, I'm going to start off by facing it skin side down and then I'm going to use my sharp knife to make a cut into the flesh of the chicken starting from the left side. Okay, so here you can see that I've made my first cut and now what I'm indicating or what I'm trying to show you here is that there is a small bone right beside the main bone. So you're going to use your knife to cut around it. A sharp knife is crucial for deboning chicken and in this case a boning knife is ideal but in some cases the paring knife may also be used and if there is none, well depending on the part of the chicken that is being deboned, a larger knife may even be required. Okay, so now we can clearly see the main bone on display. So I'm going to continue to work my way around the bone and I'm going to continue to cut into the chicken until I have completely detached the flesh from the bone. Alright, so here you can see that the chicken bone is completely removed and now what we are left with is just the flesh of the chicken leg. And as a part of your SBA question, after you have successfully deboned your chicken leg or whichever other part you have selected, you will then be required to place a stuffing and roll that chicken part and then you will then utilize one of the three cooking methods provided which would have been roasting baking or deep fat frying before slicing for service and in terms of stuffing the possibilities are endless some persons choose to stuff their chicken with vegetables or some choose to use deli meat and cheeses and you'll notice that i have my chicken bone to the side and that is because it can be used to make stock and as a part of the sba question it did ask to indicate as a portfolio entry what you would do with the leftover bones so one of the easiest things that you can do is to use the leftover bones to make chicken stock. So what you do is you would add the chicken bones along with vegetables such as carrots, celery, onions, and you can also add herbs such as um, thyme and parsley. And you would boil that for a couple of hours and then before you know it, you'd have your homemade chicken stock. And then what's interesting is that that homemade stock can be used to flavor sauces and it can be used to make soups. Thank you so much for watching and for more videos don't forget to hit subscribe and share this video with someone who may find it useful.